Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be fitting this STI top mount intercooler to this MY99WRX. This is off a 2014 model STI. It's a lot bigger intercooler, it's a lot more efficient than the factory EJ205 intercooler. It should give us nice results. You can pick these guys up cheap when owners tend to swap these out for eBay specials, hoping to gain some HP. Yeah, I know, right? Anyway, they lost our game. So let's get to it. Alright, let's get that old intercooler off. Got him off. So as you can see the intercool is in perfect condition. So to keep it in that state, I'm gonna cover the core with some cardboard so we don't bend any fins while we're playing with it. First of all, we can take this tube off. Don't need that on the GC8. Alright, that's that. So for now I'm just going to block off the blower valve port, so I've just cut this plate out of a bit of 3mm aluminium right, and I'm just going to bolt it on there. Just got an old tube of black silo, I'm just going to use that for a gasket. Yeah, cool. Now let's see about getting it in the car. So I'm going to put that new throttle body hose on there. That come with the intercooler because it's a lot better condition than the one that came off. Now let's just try and sit the unit down there. All right, so let's just sit this down there like that. I think we'll be able to use this existing bracket. We just do a little bit of cut and shut. See if it's like that. So we'll cut a little slots out in here. Like that. And I'll kick it out to about there. Yeah. 
there. And then we'll just kick it back in and shorten it. Cool. Alright, so there I've cut a notch out and closed it up. So increasing the angle, opening it up a bit, right? So that's coming out now to clear the intercooler. So now I'm just going to cut it here and bring it back. Alright, so I've just put a little kick in it there. So now if I put it under here, it pretty much lines up with all the holes. I just need to cut it again here and give it a bit of a twist down to tweak it into position. So I reckon if I cut it about here, like that, I'll be able to get it pretty close. Okay, so there we are, made another cut and a shut. So now, I'll put it in here. It's very, very close. So lining up there, see? So I'm going to leave it now until we get the other side all sorted. And then we can finalise it. Alright, so what I'm going to do first off with this bracket is just cut it straight through there because this here is actually touching the bottom of the intercooler. So I'm hoping this part will clear and I can just extend it on. Just like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is use this little imprint from where the intercooler was sitting on the original bracket on the cardboard, you can see exactly where it's been. So I slid that in there. And I've lined the original bracket up with it. And set it at the angle and everything. Like that. So that's approximately where the bracket sits in the car. I've just got to set where this is going to go. This is just some bar stock that I've um, reclaimed out of an old exercise set. So I've ripped the powder coating off it. I'm just going to weld that on there like that. So I'm just going to mark it up now. So I'm going to cut a, put a notch out of the side here. First of all, like that. So it's going to sit in there. I'm going to put a quick twist in it. Like that. Okay, you can see what's going on there. Now, 
I'm just going to try and vice grip it now. some little tacks on it now with the welder. All right, so there it is. I just tacked it on to the bracket. Also put some tacks on our left-hand side one as well. So I might go and bolt them onto the engine now and see how the intercooler fits against them. It's pretty straight across the struts, so that's where it's got to sit. <clears throat> so it's pretty damn close. I think what I'll do is just take a slice out of there and shorten that, just to get that angle looking a bit better. But the bolt hole's pretty much lined up, and the angle's pretty good. Very good, actually. The one on this side is good, it'll be good with a 5mm packer under it, but as far as angle and alignment goes, it's very good. So yeah, cool. We're getting there pretty quickly. Alright, so I did another little cut and shut there. So let's put it in here and see what happens. perfect now. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yep, that's really good. Alright, so that one's all finished. That one's all shaped now, ready for welding. You can see how it's lined up there. That's really nice. Cool. So now just got to get the other side done. Way to mark a spot for the hole in that bracket is just a bolt with some grease on the end. And I'm just going to hold the intercooler up, take my little spacer out. Drop the bolt down through the hole with the boss. Give it a push and a spin and a lift back out. And that would have marked. 
up the hole. So the spot where the hole has to be. Now let's see and cool it back off. There we are. Bracket back off. See the hole mark for the bolt. All right, so out with the drill press now. There we are. So you notice I also put a gusset on the left hand side one because it's so long. Um, it's going to be a lot of weight swinging off it and I don't want it to vibrate or bend. So I put a 3 8 rod on the side of it there. Also put the captive nut on. So yep, yeah, just ready to clean them up now for paint. Alrighty, so here's the new brackets. Bit of paint on them. Tidy it up a bit, don't look too bad, eh? Alright, let's fit them on the car and see what happens. See how the cooler fits on there now. Ones a bit, get it all lined up. Move to fit it. This one. Pretty much the same. Yeah. It's looking good. 
All right, so now got to cut the silicon in that hose, and then we're done. All right, so got this RaceWorks two-inch ID silicon elbow. Now I've got to cut it to suit what we need in here. So I've just got my little steel rule. Put my hand in there, and just got to measure from stop up on the intercooler back to the turbo that's about 142 that's gonna be 142 long one way eh? 140 and that'll be right that way now the other way the other way it's gonna be a bit harder a bit of decimetrics here and I say Send it to the end about 80. Send it to the end about 80, so it's about there. Now. now there he is, so what I might do is just lift the unicorn off and pop that hose on and see how it fits. I hope it's long enough. Good. Yep, cool. All right, I think we're um, ready to mount it in there now. All right, in that she goes. Can't hear any knocks or anything. Yeah. It's a level. Yep, very, very close. Is it straight? So, straight edge across the strut tops, center to center. I'll tell you what, it's very, very close. Close enough. That's awesome. Okay, tighten up these clamps now. That's it. Cool. So this one went straight in. That's nice and neat now and it matches the contours of the inner cooler. This bolt went straight in. I put a couple of washers on there just to level the inner cooler up. Got the new silicon hose in there. You'll also notice down here, I've blocked off the return for the blower valve because we've deleted it and then plugged the vacuum hose for it. So that's it guys. We can now 
take off our little protective shield and our inner cooler is in there. How cool is that? Looks pretty nice. Cool gang. Until next time, thanks for watching, liking and subscribing. See you next time on Nev's Garage.